Recently, there's been a lot of confusion on how you can add recipes to your guns, so we're going to add a recipe to the AK-47. To start, we have to find the weapon item tag, and we're going to add this tag called recipe. Then we need a shape tag and an ingredients tag. The shape is what you'd expect. It's a 3x3 three three square defining the shape of the recipe. And the ingredients are, of course, your ingredients. So the shape, we're going to say adhesive up top, stock on the left, iron block in the center, a barrel on the right, and handle on the bottom. So we have to use this, these single letter annotations here. So when we go into the ingredients, we can define what those single letters mean. So for A, we're going to say adhesive. For S, we're going to say stock but we're gonna define this in a different way. So I'm gonna write a quick comment to do later. Then I is gonna be an iron block. We we'll use the simple format where we just define the material name. B is the barrel and H is the handle. Okay, so let's talk about the stock. The stock is going to use the full item format. So what that means is it's gonna have its own type, so name and lore. So for type, let's go with wooden shovel. We'll give it a quick name. Yellow barrel. I'm sorry, stock. For your sanity, I won't give it a lore. We'll just go right to the next step, which is adding another recipe. So if we want to, we can have recipes within recipes within recipes. But you'll see that as we add more and more of them, we start to get these massive indentations. And that's why we have this new format. So let's fill up this one first. We're gonna say www, www, that's roughly the shape of the stock. Ingredients, W is oak plunks. All right, we're gonna save. And now we have to define what barrel, handle, and adhesive mean. Of these little spaces. Okay, so to use the simple format, we can go to the mechanics core folder, items, and then create a new file. You can name this file anything you want. We're just going to go with ingredients.yml. Open that. All right, so now we have to type out the barrel the handle, and the adhesive. All right, so I'm going to do a quick cut so I can fill in some general information about these items. And then, we'll... All right, now that we have our items, we're going to create crafting recipes for these items. So just like before, we type out recipe, shape, and ingredients. So for the barrel, we're going to use a horizontal recipe. All that means is we're going to use one line and we're going to fill up that entire line. Nice, so we're using I and we're going to say that's an iron ingot. Adhesive, we're going to do the opposite. We're going to have a vertical crafting recipe, which means for the shape, we define three lines with one item in each line. So for the adhesive, we're going to use three different materials. We'll say quartz, honeycomb, and paper. For the handle, we'll use the full format. So it's a recipe shape. Oh, almost forgot. We have to define our ingredients over here. So Q is quartz, H is honeycomb, and P is paper. All right, now back to the handle. Shape. We're going to say Let's use a, a diamond of leather and sticks. So let's go stick, leather, leather, and then stick. And now we can define what those ingredients mean. Ingredients, S is stick, L is leather. All right, now we save. Exit that file. 
And let's go back to our AK-47. Assault Rifles, AK-47. All right, so now we can check. We've defined adhesive. Iron block is the simple format. We've defined what barrel is. We've defined what handle is. And we have the inlined feature of the recipe. Cool. So now that that's all set up, we can go back to our server and start. This is CJ Crafter from the future talking. We actually made a mistake. We need to add a space here. That's because we have three characters in this string and only two in this one. We need to add this extra space to make sure that each string is the same size. In this case, three. All right, so now when we join the server, we can craft our items. So we have a block of iron already. We can craft a stock. We can go over here, type in handle to craft our handle. We'll do the same with adhesive. And I'll just fill in barrel real quick. So now we have a problem. If we type in AK, you'll notice it's a feather. We're going to stop our server. So in order to fix this problem, we have to copy the skin and add it to the item itself. Skins are only updated when they're given to a player. So we're going to add this custom model data tag to our item and paste the skin, in this case 121, and we'll restart our server. So the guns that you get in game from Weapon Mechanics Get AK-47, they look like they have their skins automatically applied, but they're actually only applied when they're given to the player, which is why our AK-47 looks like a feather in the crafting recipe. It's also important that we restart the server, because recipes are only used when the server starts. So if you try to reload weapon mechanics, the recipe will not update. Okay, now that we're in our crafting table, we can type in AK. And now, we see the AK-47 pops up here. We can fill in all of our items. Adhesive goes up top. And now we have an AK-47. And it works even better. All right, be patient. Make sure you use the custom file that you can store your items in for mechanic score. That way you don't have these really long, terrible blocks, which it's just gonna make your life much easier. All right, so good luck, have fun.